rowing is often called the ultimate team sport. And the reason for that is every constituent part of a rowing boat has got to move in perfect time. And one of the reasons that you train for so long together over months and years preparing is you've got to get that synchronized movement. Trying to get eight guys um, rowing very, very precisely together is quite, is quite a hard thing to do. To get everyone rowing together, there's a different element of things we do. We do a, like a lot of kind of mileage, we call it, just endless kind of plodding up and down. And as a nature of doing that, you kind of subconsciously just start moving together and rowing together. We also have biomechanics that we can put on the boat and that measures where you're applying your power and when. So by looking at that, you can tell individuals to do things differently to help make the crew go well together. You need the strength, but you also need the precision. And some people, some people are stronger, obviously. So the middle of an eight are for the big, the, the, the oxen, really, of the rowing world, the big guys. And, and then the outsides, you can, sort, you can put smaller people in who are quite precise because you need the technical aspect of it as well. Basically, they have to be like a ballet dancer, um, rowing in time with lots of synchronicity, but they also have to be producing lots and lots of wattage per, per person. you put the blades in exactly the same time as everyone else in the crew. You're all levering the boat past that position all together. You're all releasing at the same time. You're all having the recovery at the same time. Uh, and so that brings a sort of a, a, a different dynamics into it because you know you have to rely on everyone in the crew, every stroke of every outing and of every race to try and get across the line first.